Hello everyone, Superbrick37 here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my brand new 2022 LEGO Winter Village display. But before we get started with that, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe down below for more, as all your support is very much appreciated. So now let's get started. And I do want to say one thing really quick, and that is that we are actually filming with my brand new phone. We got a Google Pixel 6a just the other day, and this is the first full video that I'm filming with it. I have filmed a couple TikToks with it, and I have been doing the advent calendars over on TikTok as well with this camera. But let me know what you guys think of this video quality down below in the comments, and let me know if it's any better than what you guys are noticing on my old phone. So now, let's get started. In total, this display uses seven different LEGO sets, and is on a total of eight base plates spanned across the coffee table in our living room. It consists of two different sections, our little town area, and then the North Pole type of area. We'll start with over here in the little town, where you can see we have the Santa's Village set, the brand new uh, Main Street Market set, I believe is what it's called, the Hogsmeade Village set, as well as the very large Christmas tree. And surrounding this part, we do have a train track, which just kind of ends on the edges, but it's just kind of assumed to extend past in both directions, as this town also extends back that way. So you can see we have the buildings kind of in a circular pattern here with the tree in the middle. And there's a whole bunch of minifigures and different details in here. We have Harry Potter figures, Marvel figures, just regular Christmas figures, just even regular Christmas figures. Even Star Wars, a whole bunch of different characters down in here. So we'll start up here at the beginning where you can see we have the ballasted train track or partially ballasted. With some snow just covering it. Kind of makes it fit into the scene a little better. And then over here we have Iron Man. With his Christmas sweater from the Marvel Advent Calendar last year. And he's sitting there building his little Iron Man snowman. Which is a build that I kept from that Advent Calendar. And I think it just looks really awesome. Then moving on we have the little bus stop. Where we have Hagrid and Dumbledore standing here. Presumably waiting on the train. And then we also have a kid who is mailing his letter to Santa. Then coming up, we have the big Christmas tree right here in the middle of town. I really love this build. And it's probably one of the, my favorite sets in my collection. You can see we have a whole bunch of presents just all the way around the bottom of the tree. Then we'll actually work our way from left to right. So, we have our first Hogsmeade building over here. Where we have Draco and Lucius Malfoy standing outside of it. Then the sign for Sirius Black. You can kind of see it in there. That also came with the Hogsmeade Village set. Really like that little sign. Then moving on from that, we have one of the little reindeer characters from the CMF series putting a present under the tree. And then we have our Santa's Vill Village, our Santa's Visit set, rather. I absolutely love this little corner house. And on top, we actually have a little funny scene here with uh, presumably fake Santa Claus being arrested by a police officer trying to come down somebody's chimney. Because the real Santa Claus is up here in the sleigh. His sleigh full of toys, being pulled by the reindeer. So this Santa's got to be a fake. So we got the police officer over here arresting him. And then moving on, we do have the toy shop from the new 2022 Winter Village Main Street Markets, I believe is the name of it. And right in front of that, we have Christmas Mando and Christmas Baby Yoda, or Christmas Grogu, rather. Just kind of walking through the town. I love those Christmas figures there. You can see Mando's got that little scarf, and Grogu has his little Christmas sweater on. And then moving on from that, we have Professor Lupin over there as well, standing outside of that shop next to a smaller Christmas tree. Then in the corner we have the music shop, and then Honey Duke's over here, where we have Drax and his Christmas sweater, getting ready to come into Honey Duke's and have a feast, it looks like, with his spoon and his fork. Then coming down here, we have an even cooler scene with Fred and George Weasley, who have set up shop uh, selling or selling bets, rather, taking bets for a little friendly competition they might have going on. We have a couple Hogwarts, Hogwarts students there and Professor McGonagall. And then over here in the corner, we have our dummy, which is from Iron Man. And he's carrying a little stocking there, which I thought was really cool. Then, one of the best parts of 
the new 2022 Winter Village set is this train. And it works on the normal uh, Lego train track. And you can see we do have Dean Thomas, Hermione, and then on the other side we have Harry and Ron all riding on the train. And it's got such cool details on it. I love the stickers on it. And it, it can go either way, but it is presumably supposed to go with the driver in the front. So going that way up the track and presumably to the rest of the town. So yeah, that's all for the main town area besides the little mini sleigh from the Lego Marvel Advent Calendar this year with Star-Lord pulling it. I absolutely love this build too. I think having the little mini spaceship sleigh looks really cool and it's going to be definitely a steeple for my winter village for the next couple of years at least alongside the big Santa sleigh. So now we'll move on to our North Pole type area. And right down here in the front, you can see we have our Christmas droid trio. We have C-3PO, R2-D2, and our Santa Gonk droid. All uh, sitting here watching some kids ice skate. And I absolutely love this set as well. This set, you can actually spin around if there's not pieces in the way. And we're not knocking people over. But it does spin around, and the ice skaters actually go around in a little circle. It's a really cool little set. I believe it was a promo a couple years ago. And if we keep moving on, we do have our next Marvel scene, where we have Nebula in her Christmas sweater, building a little Thanos snowman, alongside the Thanos Infinity Gauntlet uh, Christmas tree from the Advent Calendar last year. So she's got a little Christmas sh shrine over here to Thanos, as well as Thanos on her... Uh, Christmas sweater as well. And then we have our next big building, which is the Elf Clubhouse set. This set is absolutely incredible, and I love it so much. It's got so many cool play features on the inside, and it comes with so many cool little minifigures as well. Right outside of that, we have the uh, smaller Santa sleigh that came in the Santa's Workshop set. So I'll just kind of sit up, have it sitting over here in the corner as maybe like a backup sleigh for Santa if anything goes horribly wrong. And then you can see, throughout the little North Pole area, we have just a ton of different Christmas trees around. They're all decorated up for the holidays. As well as a bunch of reindeer around, with some el some elves riding them, and some just kind of running around. Really like those little reindeer builds from the uh, Santa's Workshop set. Then, coming around back, I do want to show just one really interesting feature of the Elf Clubhouse. And that is... This little waffle maker. I love this play feature. This might be my favorite play feature in any Lego set. So you put the little waffle tiles in up here at the top. And then all you do is you pull this little brown lever and a waffle comes out. Then you flip the pan down, get your waffle out, put it on a plate, and move on. Then the next elf will come up, get the next waffle. It comes out. This is just such a cool little play feature. It's so simple, but it's just so awesome to me. But yeah, so that's the inside of the Elf Clubhouse. I didn't put any scenes on the inside of any of the buildings just because I'm kind of mainly focusing on the outside here and I wanted to pack in as many figures as I could onto the outside. So yeah, we have a whole bunch of reindeer and elves. And then we have our North Pole sign, which did come in the Santa's Workshop set, but I made it a little bit taller just because it was only a couple bricks tall and it looked kind of puny. So I made that a little bit taller. It looks a little nicer in my opinion. Then we have a couple of kids down here building a snowman, the sugar plum fairy talking to the nutcracker. Then we have another fake Santa down here sledding, or skiing rather, on this little slope that we have over here. I have so many Santa Claus minifigures that I decided to put them all in, so uh, I can tell a little bit of a story with them, and I like that. Then we got more Christmas trees, more reindeer, then we have a couple of elves over there building a very special Christmas tree with Groot in it. And if you guys have seen the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special, you'll know what scene that's referencing. And I love that little build with Groot in the Christmas tree. It came in the advent calendar this year, and I really like it. Then we have the Sands Workshop set with Mrs. Claus standing right outside it with her little tray of cookies and peppermints. But yeah... That's our entire Winter Village display this year. Let me know down below what you guys think of it. 
And I'll actually put my original video right up here in the corner. So you can check out my Winter Village from last year and see how much it's improved. And I think it has improved drastically. We didn't really get a chance to build many sets last year, so it was kind of puny. But this year is so much better in my opinion. So let me know down below what you guys think of this display. And make sure you guys like the video and subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. Thank you all for watching. Superbricks37, signing off.